ericmwagetmother.com. Let's take a look at the monthly chart for HTHT and we can see that it has been doing well. Of course, nice price acceleration, which also happens to coincide nicely with this RSI movement. Of course, RSI is forming a nice mountain there and we can see holding above 69.1. Now, take a look at this period right there. Again, right there. And what we can see is that there was an attempt to break down back below 69.1, but you can see that it held. Now, that's a big deal. The moment you see that holding, you anticipate a recovery leg, right? Now, that is, I mean, I don't know how clear that could be. You can see evidence of this here. You try to break down below 69.1, but you hold. And that again becomes a reason to re-enter the instrument. Just like this recent bounce back above 69.1 was a re reason to re-enter the instrument. Now, now, this is based on a couple of days ago. I just happened to save the chart. If we take a look at the current chart based on a weekly chart, we can see another layer of evidence of support, which is at the RSI 50 on the weekly. So again, there was another reason to consider this another logical entry level based on coming back to test the RSI 50. The RSI 50 held and of course we can see that now it has responded with a nice bounce. The last time we came to the RSI 50 level and held was here, which was in middle of 2016, off those lows. Of course, after that, we had a chance of moving higher. And again, there was uniform activity, double bottom uniform activity below the 50 level and back above it with uniform action. That again was good enough for those lows before the instrument recovered. So not only was the monthly bouncing above 69.1, we can also see that if you take a look at the next time frame, which is the weekly, there was bounce at the RSI 50 level, something that we always consider. Now take a look at the daily. In other words, what I'm trying to say here is stocks tend to have a dance. And if you can make all the time frames, you know, pretty much in sync with a certain look, then it means that you can take advantage of a potential move one way or the other. For example, you see right here, we've gone, we seem to have formed a U-type formation, something like that on the RSI. So this is a period here. And this is relevant. I'll show you why. So this is one year daily. Let's go take a look at the two year daily. And I'll show you why the stock was doing that. Number one, we have to see where it comes off this lows here. So this movement brought it off the lows on a daily chart. So we use that information to draw our uniformity support line. Anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, it means that the instrument wants to bounce. So let's test that. Uniform activity bounce for that re-entry. We came close here for that re-entry. Uniform activity below the line, back above it. For that re-entry, we kiss the line there with uniform action Mwah! off that lows. Came close here off that lows. And now we can see why we went below and back above it with the uniform action. So in other words, we went below, back above it. And of course, the line is going through there. So this is uniform action, which is another reason now we can see why the instrument has recovered over the last couple of days. And of course, this period is what I'm showing as that period right there. Now, let's take a look at the current one year daily chart. Of course, we saw that when we came off the highs here, we had formed negative divergence. The RSI on the daily was rejected when trying to move above 69.1, which gave us those highs. So also, we can see where the trend broke down. 
so that break right there brought the stock off those levels and just draw a line like that so we can see that if it comes back to test this level and fails then we can anticipate that could be a reversal area that's just a side side observation Let's take a look at another line based on the prior support line extend that out should be something like that we can see even in the current market it is coming back to test that line so those are the short-term considerations in terms of trying to figure out where the next meaningful swing trade is here we can see on the daily before this move here the RSI was showing good support on the daily as we've seen the RSI on the weekly was also showing that it was coming back to test the weekly RSI 50 which held for that bounce and of course we've seen that on the monthly the big takeaway actually the most important aspect here is it bounced back above the 69.1 threshold in fact it refused to break down below 69.1 which set the stage for this recovery as we begin the new month similar to this period here where it bounced back above RSI 50 with uniform action in fact we can say it also refused to drop below 69.1 giving that another reason for lows and a movement higher so there you have it some considerations whenever you see a stock on a pullback you can always anticipate some major levels either for support or break eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s Mwah.